Alec Manoa has only been in the big leagues for about two and a half years now, and he already might have the most enemies in baseball. I don't want to necessarily say that he's hated by anybody, because that's of course a strong word, but Alec Manoa has some enemies. In just his fifth start of his entire big league career back in 2021, Manoa was already getting into benches clearing incidents. After giving up back-to-back -back home runs to the Orioles, the second in which was a bomb, Manoa hit the next Oriole up with a 94 mile an hour fastball up and in. Mike Alfranco, the hitter, was not happy. The bench is cleared, and this was a little sneak peek of the drama that Manoa would bring into this league. Really quick, but if you enjoy the content, become part of the 30% of viewers who are subscribed. Thank you. Over a year later, the Blue Jays were taking on the Red Sox at Fenway Park, and Alec Manoa was on the mound. And in the second inning, Bobby Dahlbeck would take Manoa deep over the monster for a home run. He didn't even really pimp it or anything, or flip his bat in a noticeable way, he just hit it, ran, and bam, the Red Sox were on the board. Manoa really took that personally though, because skip ahead to the 6th inning, and Manoa would strike out Franchi Cordero, stare him down, and tell him to sit down, and then after striking out the next hitter, Dahlbeck, this time around, he'd gesture over to the Red Sox dugout, Dahlbeck was not happy, started to jaw back and forth with Manoa, and if you thought the AL East didn't have enough beef with Manoa, Garrett Cole then said hold my spider tag. The next month, the Blue Jays were taking on the Yankees in New York with Alec Manoa on the mound, and after hitting Aaron Judge with a fastball, Judge was noticeably not happy. He didn't necessarily want to fight, but he clearly was annoyed with Manoa before an angry Garrett Cole jumped out of the Yankees dugout, screaming at Alec Manoa and having to be held back. After the game, Cole said that Manoa had been hitting too many of his guys for his taste, and when Manoa was asked about it, he challenged Garrett Cole to go further than in front of his own dugout and come fight him next time, while also going on to call him baseball's biggest cheater after the season. Watch. I think if Garrett wants to do something, he can walk past the Audi side next time. In baseball history? Yeah. Cheater? Yeah. Uh, uh Garrett Cole. Jericho, what he did? Yeah, he cheated. He used a lot of like sticky stuff. Yeah, to make his pitches better. Wow. And he uh, he kind of got called out called out on it. So I don't know about you, but I will absolutely be tuning into Alec Manoa's starts this year, especially against the Red Sox and Yankees, especially after what Red Sox outfielder Alex Verdugo just recently had to say about Manoa. Alex Verdugo is not a guy shy of showing emotion and going against the unwritten rules of baseball. He's all about doing so and having fun, but as mentioned in the past that he does so toward his own team, never wanting to disrespect other opposing players as he doesn't like to stare down guys and stuff like that. Obviously there can be outliers, like say Verdugo had been hit or something a couple of times and disrespected by the pitcher, maybe then he'd stare down the pitcher if he took him deep, but overall, Alex Verdugo loves to get fired up and show his emotion, but likes to do so to himself or to his dugout and teammates rather than show anyone on the opposing side up, unwarranted. Verdugo recently went on a podcast called Baseball Isn't Boring and talked a little about all that before bringing up Alec Manoa himself, saying that what he does pisses him off as he doesn't like seeing Manoa disrespect other players. Listen. Emotions are good. In a 162 plus uh, game season, you need emotions. You need it. It gets the other guys fired up, whether they're laughing, having a good time, whether they get hyped up too. It's just, it's good to show emotions and you know, you want to show these kids too. It's like, you know, this is how you do it. Now, with the whole staring down people and bat, like throwing your bat crazy and, you know, like I said, staring down a pitcher or a pitcher staring at you and looking at you and saying some shit, like, it's a little bit different. Yeah. You know, you start going into, like, you crossing over into the disrespectful. And, like, the, I don't really play like that. I don't like that shit. Um, you know, that's when I start having a little bit of problems with it. It's like... You know, like, hey, you want to pimp shit? You want to look at the ball and do whatever you want? Skip, hop, jump. Like, look at the ball. Like, there's no reason right. to stare at the pitcher and be like, yeah, what's up? Yeah. And then vice versa with the pitcher striking out a hitter. Like, you want to get fired up? Like, look at your dugout. Like, let's go. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You don't need to look at me at the plate and, like, be like, like you know, fuck you. Like, yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just don't. It's just you won that you won that scenario you did and you know like i think that's when it, you start getting a little bit muddy mm. but if it's a genuine reaction and it's for the boys not again like not directed towards somebody then yeah like i'll say it right now i think alec manoa goes about it the wrong way uh, you know what i mean 100 yeah, yeah. i think he does you can find videos footage of him in the triple a of triple a going like this to a hitters yeah you know what i mean he last year telling uh, Frenchie and Bobby, like, like, uh, go sit 
and yeah. shit like that. And it's just like, and looking right at them. Yeah. So it's like, you know, shit like that, like that shit just pisses me off. And like I said, it's not, it's not, it's not the way it should be played. It should be played like you're celebrating it with your team. You're not fucking, you're not disrespecting another player who's, you know, at the end of the day, just, we're just trying to compete, man. That's right. it. So yeah, Alex Verdugo, not a fan of Alec Manoa and his antics. And I'm willing to bet his teammates and coaches probably feel the same way. And with all this history with Manoa, and now with this being said by Doogie, I cannot wait for them to face off again. Same with Manoa and the Yankees, that'll be fun too. But at this rate, I feel like a benches clearing incident or even fight could be in the cards with any Alec Manoa start against any team. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.